All right, folks, I'm about to show y'all how to damn navigate this map and not get killed that much. Woo! Who's that peeking in my window? Pow! No boxing, nobody now. All right, folks, if y'all know the intro, suck it in, stand up straight, and take a deep breath, and sing it. What the hell is this dude doing? Drop that bitch from... Ooh, I didn't do nothing. I drew a circle around him, though. And then I got shot about Pac-Man, but forget all that. That ain't what we here for. We here for... Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy. Hip fire! You get caught up in it! It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop. BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live! We're yet more ass waxer at live and direct from the place that we like to respectfully refer to as the ass factor. And y'all already know what time it is. And um, today, man, what I'm going to show y'all how to do is how to play Headshot Alley and not get killed all the time. The biggest tip that I can give y'all in ass waxing one-on-one -on -one today is learn how to read the map. And I know that you know how to read the map. But what I'm saying is what I'm saying know how to read the map is the place where your team... Damn this Headshot Alley, man. I thought that because my team... See, I was going to say that you can always run to your teammates and you can figure out which way to navigate because your teammates are there so it's safe to go that way. But I didn't know that I had the derpification of America down there trying to uh, watch my back. So there was no way I could run down there. How the hell was that dude right behind the other the damn other uh, blue square and he didn't get there? And yes, I said the derpification of America. And this ain't MLD, Major League Derping like Philly. Headshot, get it, get it. But anyway, check this out. Right here, I want to go down here, side alley. We got a UAV up, and uh, I'm like, okay, well, I don't know which way did it go, which way did it go, which way did it go? Right here, my man. Anyway, uh, but look, all right. So right here, I know I can run straight down the middle because my teammate is in the window right there, and then he just got body, and then woo, tell that bad boy in the corner to get from Ronya, cause we're dangerous. Whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna try again to go down here and then I realized yet again that my teammate if this was Madden He would have zero awareness and uh, so I have to just run and get up by that slide on him slide That's right like hard eight say slide on them player, but um they have zero awareness So this is not the best game to tell you that you can follow your teammates You can always go towards your teammates and you reduce the risk you definitely reduce the risk of getting shot in your back on your face at least if you are uh, if you're running towards your teammates and you're using them to navigate the map you don't even really need a uav Woo! i got a competent teammate in here who jump shot scuffed i'm not scuffed i don't even use no scuff uh fusion jump uh ooh, and that's what that is right there bloodthirsty superior force baby anyway use your teammates man if you gotta bait your teammates you can bait them i don't know what he was doing in the doorway if you gotta bait your teammates you bait your teammates if you gotta uh run away from your teammates sometimes you gotta run away from your teammates like right here I want to go in that window so bad, but I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to use my teammate right here, and I'm going to see if he can get by these guys right here. And just like I said, whoo, you were talking all that cash until you got shot in your back right there. The reason I didn't go behind my teammate right there was because he had already failed me three or four. They had already failed me three or four times in the game anyway. Right, like right there. Look, my teammate is in there, but he ain't killing nothing. And then this dude almost killed me, so I'm going to drop the sentry gun down. But anyway, like I said, trust your teammate. I mean, uh, just use your teammates as a point of reference. Don't trust them. Don't go behind them. Don't follow them. Don't do any of that. Woo, look at that dude get dropped from long range, short range, long range. It don't matter because hell high I've been bound. Uh, yeah, just use your teammates, man. They All they are is just cannon fodder. So you see where they are. You know that it's safe to kind of go toward their way on the map. You may meet somebody running over there. You really shouldn't get shot in your back or get shot head on unless somebody's running through the rooms and stuff like that. Right here, I'm just thinking, okay, this is the dangerous side of the map because my teammates are all behind me. So right now, I am going toward them. There should be somebody outside this door. I hadn't, I hadn't seen this game. See, there you go, right there. And there's a guy, hit fire. You get caught up in it, two-piece. Uh, merciless, motherfucker. That's right. Anyway, uh, like I said, man. Woo, look at that thing. Two-piece. Uh, dance with me. Come on, dance with me, baby. Hashtag, get it, get it. And then I get ended by somebody sitting in the corner and, and you know, and by the bad boy in the corner. But I, there's nothing I can really do about that, man. You know, it's, um, I had run out of bullets. I had already killed, like, uh, well, I had got a merciless medal and, you know, it, it just is what it is. So, whoo, and right here, I think I'm gonna run behind somebody and get superior force, but uh, I failed. And because I failed, I get shot in my back. Yep, uh, I was talking all that cash and I got shot in my back. But anyway, man, the moral of the story is, 
right here. In like like in this in this map, just you know what? Just forget your teammates. The only thing you use them as is a point of reference. Because it was six of my teammates down there, so I thought I could go down there and then I, I just got killed. But uh I just use them as a guide, man. So I, I know when I can go down here at Shot Alley, and I know when I shouldn't even try to go down here at Shot Alley and other places because I see my teammates positioned in a certain way. So uh once you once you start doing that and uh you start navigating the map like that, you can predict the spawns and, and you won't have an issue with uh with slapping people like I do. So um and uh this is maximum slappage by the way. I mean I mean I only died like three or four times this match. So uh, you know, I mean I suck at giving tips. But uh I am gonna um start doing call of duty like i said it's, it's probably gonna be about three days a week now i'm, I'm cutting it back because uh videos ain't really getting watched and um you know hey it is what it is uh it just is what it is man you know i'm gonna do ass waxing one-on-one -on -one. i'm gonna do some live commentaries and then friday i do uh ordinary commentary and just give them time to breathe because everybody ain't got time to watch all these videos but uh playthroughs will be coming back too I don't give a damn if I don't give a damn how many views those get because I'm just going to do them. And then uh, NBA 2K is going to be every day, man, because that's that's going to be my primary game because that appears to be what people are watching the most. Um, So um, that's about it, man. And uh, I am out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Holla! 360 at this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, man. And um, go back and check out my uh, NBA 2K video from yesterday. That's quite possibly my best video I've ever done. Um, and it's funny. It's pretty funny too, man. So, um, and I'm gonna finish up the Call of Duty campaign today and then we'll be moving from there. So, uh, and, uh, yeah, go check out Freak Body Philly too, man. And I'm out. Peace. That was so fucking epic.